Mac Daddy Lifts is like a taxi service in the Columbia area. They serve they service the Mizzou community as well as like near the game arena centers and then some of the downtown area. It's a tip based service, so outside of Uber and regular taxi services, there's no fare. Instead, you tip based on however you feel you should tip at the time. And we created an app for it because currently the service is working off three phone numbers. They have three carts, three drivers working at a time. And if you want a ride, you call the number. So sometimes the lines get tied up and we felt the app was needed. So the app is also going to be easier to work with because anyone can download it who has iOS versus again, calling in and wait, hoping that someone answers. It's user, our app will be user friendly, easy to work with. It's nothing too complicated. You won't need a tutorial for it. You'll click the button to request a ride and it's technically two apps in one. We have one for the rider side and then one that the drivers will download and use and those two apps will communicate. Um, okay, so our target audience for this app is mainly just college students um, who are kind of out and about on a weekend. Um, right now, Mac Daddy Lifts only operates on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturday nights. Um, so we're kind of trying to make it as user friendly because we're we know that a younger um, crowd likes to use an app rather than call somebody. Um, also, game day attendees is a huge pull for these guys. They get a lot of business during game days, and it's kind of insane. So we want to help um, regulate that traffic, as we said before. And then going forward, we're hoping that this app can kind of expand into the audience when it's like a really nice day out. Um, or during a school day, the students can kind of take advantage of this. Um, it is cheaper than Uber and Lyft because it is um, tip-based. So you're not like expected to pay a certain amount, and you can kind of... Um, depending on your financial status, figure out how much you can give and how much you can't. So that is our target audience that we're trying to get with this app. So this is the tentative design for the rider side of the app. We wanted it to keep it simple. The first thing we wanted our users to see was the whole point of the app, which is to request a ride. Once they do that, there's a short form you fill out with your name so that our driver knows who to address if they need to call with any questions a phone number so that it, it allows the driver to call you or text you to let you know that they've made it and if they have any questions about where you're located. The golf carts fit up to seven passengers, eight people total, including the driver. So there's a picker letting the driver know how many people are gonna be riding with you, numbers one through seven. And then any optional notes like, you know, I'm wearing a tan jacket and jeans if you need to find me and downtown, the downtown area is busy. Once they submit the request, you'll be notified when a driver is assigned your ride because there's only three drivers working at a time. And before, like once you submit the button for a request, it will let you know how many rides are currently in queue. If there's 20 people waiting, then I might not want to submit my request that night. Once you confirm that, it will eventually send you a notification saying one of the drivers will has accepted your ride and to let you know that he's on his way. And then we also hope that there will be a cancel ride button, so maybe I decide to stay out a little longer downtown, then I don't need a ride immediately. So for the driver's side, the driver's side is a little more complicated technically. The three drivers, there will be a common login for each cart individually, and there are more than three drivers, but only three working carts. So they'll enter their name just to, so for the push notification, if Will is sending a ride, he would need to enter his name saying he's active at the moment. And when a ride is assigned in the queue, it'll pop up on the map like a little pin, letting them know how far they are away. They can click to call or text the rider, like if they have any questions. And then they also have the ability to click that the ride has been complete to go back into active status. So once they accept a ride, they'll be in inactive or busy status. And that way, uh, they'll be active again to receive another ride once the service is complete. And do you all have any questions? One of the questions that I have is, um, you use the word lifts in the name of your product um, or your proposed product, are there any concerns about um, copyright with there being another company called Lyft? Or have you guys started to think about that? The company is already established yes. in Columbia as Mac Daddy Lyft. Okay. 
using their logo, their already um, established name and logo on the app. So we're not creating any new content, and it's kind of, we're kind of independent of the companies um, dealing with that, I think. So. Okay. Other questions? So is there a way for uh, the money to get transferred, like the tip to get transferred through the app, or is it cash, or what? So, oh, sorry. Um, right now, uh, I've used Mac Daddy List before. It's just an easy way to get a golf cart across town, and um, you go with five of your friends. Everybody tips a dollar. The golf cart driver gets $5, or they can Venmo. But we were thinking that if we put it like a payment service on the app, then we have to deal with a whole lot of other security issues, which we don't want to really want to dive into. But right now, what's holding up Mac Daddy Lifts is not like the payment system, because most of the time people have like a dollar on hand or everybody uses Venmo nowadays. Um, so that's not really what's holding them up. It's the method of communicating with riders. And you know, sometimes it's like, who knows the Mac Daddy Lifts number for tonight? It depends on who's driving it. There's like over 100 drivers. So just the communication is what we're working on. But the payment system would just hope, we would probably dive into a lot of security issues that we wouldn't want to touch right now. So there's 100 drivers, but there's only three Golf, golf carts. carts yeah so they'll do like you know three people will work this night it's like a very part-time college student kind of just picking <laughs> up a shift kind of thing wow. but there's one company one guy that owns the golf carts and rents them out to the um, drivers and then they pay um, a certain amount to use the golf cart for the night the drivers do and then they get to make anything you know if say it's like a hundred dollars to rent the golf cart for the night and then they make over a hundred dollars in tips. They get anything over that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like they really need an app. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Thank you. Uh, any other questions? Thank you for your presentation.